Uh, Misty, think you should get off there? I did you. I played chess. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you played chess. You can't hide behind the sofa. That is cheating, Aurora. I get you. I get you. Because she missed me. <laughs> Ready? I get you. I get you. I get you. <laughs> Did you miss me? You're going to run away from me. Did you miss me? <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to week 13, which is your mummy's lucky number. Good morning. The last footage you saw was actually at midnight yesterday, which was actually Monday. Today's Tuesday. I didn't film at the weekend just because I wanted to spend a bit of time with family and not having to be like, oh, I should have filmed something. I haven't filmed anything. I am just taking little lady to the vets. I'm not going to be a fun morning this morning. I don't know whether hmm, she is going to be coming home with me. Oh wow, <laughs> I feel so stupid getting like this for a hamster. Hopefully she is. I think she's put weight on, but we'll see. She's just in here. Where you gone? Are you hiding? There she is, a little butt. So I'm just gonna take her and then and then I need to film a video and then I'm going to Daniel's. So let's go. Also while we're here actually, this week's vlog's gonna be quite short because obviously I've started on Tuesday and I'm also not gonna be filming Saturday again because I'm going away with Daniel's family. So again, this is gonna end Friday. So it's actually just gonna be a four day vlog. But although I said this last time, it's gonna be a short vlog and last time it wasn't, it was actually one of the longest ones I've done minus the day, but we're minus three days this week. So it's probably gonna be a little bit shorter, but I better go. So I will talk to you after the vets. She's coming home. Oh my goodness. I feel pathetic. I went in there and she started asking me those questions. And I started to cry. It's a hamster. Why am I crying? Basically the issue was because her teeth were kept growing too quickly. She wasn't eating. So she was wasn't gaining any weight um she had her teeth clipped in january they grew back ridiculously quickly i had them clipped again in august which is probably a bit too late that's my fault but i hadn't realized how much they'd grown mum took her back in september because she wasn't gaining any weight and it had happened again like her teeth had grown again and that's when the vet basically said quality of life isn't going to be great blah 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 but because mum had brought her in without me she didn't want to say okay yeah so the vet gave her antibiotics for because her gums at the bottom were a bit inflamed she had her 10 day later checkup today and she's put on loads of weight she's actually the heaviest she's ever been and her teeth don't appear to have grown much more so she's coming home but i've got to go back in four weeks again to check her teeth and the vet said there's actually a specialist for small animals that's just opened up in newmarket in the pets of home which is actually where i got her from so if they do appear to be growing too quickly again we can make an appointment there and go see him and they may take them out but because she's so small it then make it's harder to take them out as such because obviously they can't go under anesthetic for very long so that's where we're at but she's coming home and i'm so happy oh i'm so relieved look at her little butt can you see her butt oh love her so I've just got home and no one's home and I didn't take my house key because I've been away all weekend and I didn't take my house key away with me and so I haven't put it back in my bag. So now I can't get in the house. The only person that's in there is Chris and he's asleep and I don't really want to wake him up. But I've got my little hammy and I need to get her in. Oh, maybe I'll try and call him because I need to get the hamster in. The thing is, I just rang my mum and she can't find her house key and Daniel's the only person, other person that's got a house key. He lives 20 minutes away and by that time someone could be back. No, I don't want to ring Daniel. Someone could be back. So it's pointless. In tech. Yeah. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm really sorry. I don't think he's going to answer the phone. No. I don't think he would. I guess I'm just going to have to sit and wait. Oh, I wanted to do so much before I went out. I'm also thinking of putting the hamster into her new little cage now. Her bigger one. It's a good job it is, isn't as cold as it was earlier now. Because that'd be freezing. It's quite warm now. Okay, seriously, I love Ray-Bans, but this always happens. Like, I can't get it off my head. Here we go. I need to sort her out, get her back in. And I need to pack and I need to film. That's my plan right now. She's in her new little house. And she's been jumping around like crazy. It's so cute. She's gone into her little beddy bit now. 
There's her bed bit at the top there. She's currently in there making herself at home. Down the bottom, I've got her little wheel and her old house is in there too. And the little roll of kitchen roll that she likes. So food is there, I've got her water. And she's just been bouncing around and loving it. Doing little skips about, running up and down. Good afternoon. It is now 25 past one and I'm just leaving to go to Daniel's house. I've actually put some makeup on now. I look presentable, kind of. Meh. And I've also changed my top. This jumper I actually really like. It's from New Look. It was only £25. Someone I work with got me 20% off student discount. Thanks, Kitty. Uh, she's also done it on some my Christmas present from my mum, which is wonderful, which should be arriving. I don't know if mum's going to let me have them. Hmm. Some new boots, by the way, if you're wondering. Super quickly, I forgot to say, I'm going to a fashion show on Thursday, so this vlog won't be that boring. There's a magazine in Cambridge that's called Velvet Magazine. There was just a breeze coming from somewhere. I'm not moving. Was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to Velvet Magazine's autumn fashion show on Thursday with my friend Lucy. So that's going to be fun. That's something to look forward to in the vlog. Now I'm actually going to go. Bye. So me and Tanya have just come up from having a couple of drinks downstairs and it is 20 to 11. We haven't had dinner yet, we were going to have dinner when we got back up. And I was an idiot and we were going to have pork chops and I put the pork chops in the freezer so they're actually like rock solid now so we can't have pork chops. So he's gone downstairs to get some food from the pub because, well otherwise we have nothing else to eat. Because I'm an idiot. Happy Wednesday everyone! We have made a spontaneous decision at 2pm to go to the seaside. I don't know if we're going to Hunstanton or if we're going to Lowestoft yet. I kind of want to go to Lowestoft because that's my childhood. I used to go to Lowestoft all the time when I was little. Every summer we would go to Lowestoft. So it's kind of where I want to go but it takes slightly longer to get to Lowestoft and it's already like quarter past two and it's going to be near enough quarter to four, half three, quarter to four by the time we get to either of them. I think we're probably going to end up in Hunstanton but we can go to Lowestoft another day. Then is just filling up with petrol. Is, so we can actually get to our destination. I will try and vlog some when we're there to get some nice footage of the seaside and everything. It's very windy. It's very windy. Okay, so we've reached the conclusion that Great Yarmouth doesn't make a great spontaneous trip when you make the decision at 2pm when it takes you pretty much an hour and a half to get here in October. It's very cold, nothing's open, but we have also noticed that it's very cheap to live here. Like, you can get a two bed house, three bed house here for like 500 pounds a month. Where we're looking at home, you can't get that for under 800 pounds a month. Uh, I can't find my seatbelt. This is a really great angle. So now we're gonna go home, find a film to watch and get warm in some pajamas. Eat pork chops. And eat pork chops. makeup off and then realized that I haven't started the vlog today so sorry just got home from Daniel's to get ready for tonight uh, if you don't remember from the beginning I'm going to the velvet magazine's autumn fashion show tonight lost the hamster hold on Bye, well. say hello so yeah I've just taken my makeup off from this morning I'm gonna have a shower I'm also gonna do a face mask I think as well and I need to exfoliate my face it's not great right now and I need to paint my nails and I've just got a lot to do so I, th I came home at three the event it is until seven but it takes me about half an hour to get there so I need to sleep at half six so I've got what's well, time now half eight I've got three hours until I need to go so I think I think we're good in time I'm just working on it now I am coming to do the spinnies now oh my goodness are you going to get a calendar are you So I'm actually here now. I don't know if Lucy is. I've sent her a message, but I don't know if she's here. It was really weird to try and find it because it kept telling me that I was going to have to park down a weird road to get to it. Also, I've like worn a nice dress and people are in jeans. So I feel like I've made an effort for no reason. I could have just been comfy in jeans and like a nice top, but oh well. I'm wearing a pinafore dress. 
with a like cropped off underneath in my leather jacket. So it was just called Lucy. She's got the tickets as well and she got stuck behind a lorry. Joys of the Fens driving. It starts in like two minutes, I think. <gasps> Hope they let us in. <laughs> but she's got the tickets, so I can't go in without her. Hmm. No, great. Do we like my makeup today? I went for a bronze. I quite like it. Also, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> very dark i hope you enjoyed the little clips that i managed to get some people left after this dark first half so i had better view for the second half sorry if the camera's shaky i'm so cold oh my god it was really good the only thing i would say is in a raffle don't hand out the prices as you hand out the numbers that took a long time i'm starving though i haven't had any food so i need to go back to daniel's so i need to go back to daniel's and get some food because i'm so hungry but yeah i hope you enjoyed some of the clip i think tomorrow we are planning on going to another beach we're going to Lowestoft beach and we've pre-planned it so we're going all day so hopefully it'll be a bit more entertaining than yesterday was we literally yesterday we just walked up the beach and back again and went and got a drink and some food and then went home because it was just dead nothing was open because the time we got there and things so but yeah i am now gonna try and find my way back home and eat some food and have a cup of tea i really want a cup of tea hello i've had to come home again it's friday now and we're gonna go to the beach today, but I had to come home because I forgot to take makeup removal with me. So I've had sleep in my makeup. I tried to get off my lipstick. My eyes really hurt, so I need to take my makeup off. Also, I need to get appropriate clothing for the beach because I didn't take any of that with me yesterday. And I need to take my work clothes with me and my little friend has just come to say hi. The first thing I'm gonna do though, is make a cup of tea. Right, I think I'm nearly ready to go. This is probably the weirdest I've looked. <laughs> I'm going to run to Boots quickly before I go back to Daniel's to get some waterproof mascara because I made that error on uh, Wednesday and I had makeup all down my face. So I'm going to go get some waterproof mascara. Apart from that, I think I'm ready. I'm wearing my selfie jumper, which was from Mango. I've had it ages now, actually, and I've just got like a really loose top underneath. My Jamie jeans, I did have my non-holy ones on, but I just don't feel as comfortable in them. So I put my holy ones on and I'm going to wear my Converse again um i know you probably shouldn't wear converse to the beach but i have mine for so long now that i kind of don't really care if they get ruined because i kind of need new ones anyway and they're pretty much done so they're really comfortable they're my most comfortable shoe so you need to be comfortable because i don't know how much walking we're going to be doing got my work clothes ready for monday i've got my makeup i've got makeup remover i've got my shampoo conditioner because i need to wash my hair tonight is that all i need yeah I don't know how well you can hear me, <laughs> it's quite windy, but this is where I used to spend every summer of my childhood, we'd come here every year, <laughs> come here every year with my family, it started with just me, my mum and my brother, and it used to be like our most favourite time of year ever, and we'd come down here and spend like a week, maybe two weeks here, and I'll show you like all the I started coming here with my stepdad's family. We used to stay in some flats just off the seafront, so I'll show you those when we get up so, But this is the part of the beach we always used to go to. Oh. Ah! These are the flats we used to stay in. So we used to rent out like the whole of that block there, and then it'd be me, mum, my stepdad, and my brother at the top here, and then my grandma, granddad, 
and Dep Dad's little sister here and then our grandparents down the bottom and in the top flat it was so small like it was two bedrooms and then one room and then in mine and Chris's room was the shower and then down a flight of stairs was the toilet and I'd always hold my Wii if I needed it at night because the stairs really scared me so I wouldn't go until someone was there to go with me yeah and then there's these pretty gardens just outside and there's the arcade where me and my aunt used to like raid the dance machines we were pretty amazing and then there's that little block there and we used to get donuts there every day when it was just me mum and my brother we used to get donuts there at night whenever we'd come down to the beach and just sit on the benches in front of the beach and eat our donuts and i really wanted to get some donuts today but i can't because it's shut and now we're just going to go for a walk down by the sea and then go in the arcade yay I'm gonna end it here in my happy place. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Sorry it was a little bit shorter, but there are a lot happened this week, so I think we're okay. Um, so don't forget to subscribe if you are new, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really hope you did, and I'll see you next week. Bye! <laughs> These glasses are too big for my face.